What five words describe you? My five words are... G give me a minute, just a minute, okay? Okay, thanks. Oh, come on! Here we go! <laughs> okay, yeah, I need something smaller than that. That's not gonna cut it. Got it. Let's see, what's a good word to describe me? You know what, just, uh, words that mean fun. I think they call those cinnamon words? I know they're the opposite of ant hymns. Ah, here we go. Let's start with that. First word, entertaining. Adjective, amusement or diversion, provided especially by performers. Yes, entertaining, me. Oh, oh. That's a good one. That's a good one. Right here. Loquacious. Adjective. Basically means, I talk a lot. Am I really loquacious though? Cause, I mean, I feel like I do talk a lot just depending on the circumstance, but I don't know if I talk a lot everywhere. I mean, like, whenever I'm with friends, I feel like I never shut up. Whenever I'm in front of the camera, I feel like I probably never shut up. And maybe it's like because I'm trying to compensate for something, like maybe I'm like lonely and just need someone to talk to and I'm the closest thing I can to talk to. Maybe I just like the sound of my own voice, which I do, just depending on what it sounds like during the day. Loquacious. Entrepreneur. I'm just kidding, it's entrepreneur. Yeah, that sounds like manure. I don't know, entrepreneur. Definition of entrepreneur. One who organizes, manages, and assumes the risk of a business or enterprise. This is one that I like to call myself, but I don't know if I have organized, managed, or assumed any risk of any business or enterprise. I'm trying to make a business or enterprise, starting with this, but uh, I'm just gonna keep calling myself an entrepreneur because I like I like the status it gives myself in my own head. Feels good. So I was going to do annoying and then I was like, mmm, that's too basic. I'm not a basic kind of person. I need stuff that is extravagant, even if it's gonna be negative in its connotation. So then I thought vexation and I was like, ah, uh, that just mm, doesn't properly define me. And so then I found this other word and whenever I found this word, I wrote it down because I was like, yes, that is the word that I'm looking for. And that word is disappointing. Adjective. Failing to meet expectations. It's okay, Mom. I know how you feel. Wow, that was depressing. <laughs> and now the fifth word. Are you guys ready? Okay, have it down right in here. And I'm sure it's somewhere in these dictionaries, although I think, hang on. Never mind. These dictionaries don't have this word right in here. This word is boisterous, or magnetic, or charismatic. I kind of couldn't decide which of those to use, because I felt they all described me pretty well in different ways. But I'm going to go with the boisterous, because I feel like that captures my speech, or flamboyant personality when I'm around people. So yeah, we're going to go with boisterous. Adjective. Marked by exuberant and high spirits. I feel like that matches me pretty well, except whenever I'm home alone. In that case, I'm just like laying on the couch with popcorn and drool just coming out of my mouth, laying, doing nothing, being quiet, passed out, stuff like that. Boisterous. Those are my five words that describe me. What are the five words that describe you? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this episode, then why don't you hit the subscribe and like button so you never have to miss a week. And now, let's get on to your answers from last week's question. You guys ready? There were some interesting ones. Very interesting ones. First commenter is Cameron Restivo. He says, I literally laughed so loud when remembering the night you fell off my bed. My biggest dream would be hearing Jesus say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And I'm working towards my dream job of nerf, nerf, nerf. And I'm working towards my dream job of a nurse anesthesiist. So that's a big dream of mine. Also, eventually getting married and kids and whatnot, but uh, not for a while. Excellent choices. Excellent choices. Really like the first one. Laura Flores says, I totally agree with y'all that hearing well done thy good and faithful servant is biggest. When you set huge goals, make sure to get smaller goals to get you to that big goal. 
That way you can see progress and not get discouraged. Well, thank you for the motivational talk. And I hope to work at your production company one day. Maybe I, Cameron, Papa, and I can sing your song. No. Alexa Slories, in reference to something that I mentioned in the video, says, You say that like Aunt Alicia isn't intending to strike fear in Cameron's heart. Oh no. No, I understand that she is intending to strike fear in his heart. My question is, how far are our parents willing to go to strike fear in our hearts? Because I don't know about you, but my mom just has to be like, look, t I'm taking your phone away, and I'm like, oh, okay, what do you want? I'm just done. Not really, I'm not that pitiful. Mo kind of, but not yet. Not there yet. Hopefully never. Sparkle Sprinkles says, I don't have any dreams, because that's how sad I am. I mean, I didn't want to point that out, but if you're willing to admit it... Continuing, she says, JK. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was, I was joking too. First, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. It seems so much fun. It's pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. I'm liking it so far. She also says, Second, I've always wanted to be a vet, but it takes like 12 years in school until you can actually be one. And I don't want to wait that long. And finally, three, I've always, and I mean always, wanted to have a pet white tiger. Oh, and I've always wanted a dog, too. Those are both, um, very different choices. But sure, go for it! Maybe just get a dog and paint it like a tiger? I think that might be your safest bet. <laughs> Christian Lashover. How about that render distance? I know, I'm a nerd, and I'm a dork. I should have had one of those as words describing myself. I wanted to keep it to five for time restraints, but it's hard. I'm like, there are probably 20 different words. What words do you think describe me? Let me know in the description below. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Christian Lashover continuing says, Anyhow, one of my biggest dreams is to get married. Progress is pretty... pretty blah, 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 blah. Anyhow, one of my biggest dreams is to get married. Progress is pretty slow, but I'm believing the day will come. Hey, well, you know what? I go to dance class, and there are girls there, and I could introduce you to some of them, and uh, maybe something would happen from that point. Or, you know, you could, like, go somewhere with people. Cool, guys. You guys are, like, so awesome. And I want to tell you about something really fun that I wanted to start doing. So, I thought it would be really fun if, like, every episode, I had like theme items for that episode that you could like buy. It could be stuff like that I really like or that I just think fits kind of like the spirit of the episode. And so I'm going to have some of those listed below. And guess what one of the items I'm going to have listed below is going to be? It's going to be a dictionary. Not this one. But yeah, it's going to be stuff like that. I don't know, just stuff like that that maybe you could find useful. And it's like really quick to do it as well. So it's like extra stuff I can do for you with very minimal effort that maybe y'all enjoy. If y'all like that idea, then uh, let me know and I will keep on doing it. I mean, I plan on keep on doing it anyways, but yeah. So the link's in the description below. And if you enjoyed this episode, then maybe you'd enjoy these episodes right here and subscribing. Ah, uh, that's about it. Bye. Woo. And we're done. And we're done.